on the on the my bill of constitution amendment number two of 2024 senate bills number 42 of 2024 and uh, i'm happy that kenyans took time and i'm happy by the overwhelming response that you are aware uh, parliament of the republic of kenya the senate to be specific have received in their email over 250,000 emails and counting uh, either in support or opposing of the, the this constitutional amendment and I want to thank Kenyans. I have not also had peace. My my phone is almost collapsing. I have received over 10,000 SMSs and uh, hundreds and thousands of WhatsApp messages and calls and also SMSs. And I want to appeal to Kenyans to use the official uh, website or email of the parliament because my phone is almost crashing. Uh, even in, in, in my social media pages, Twitter, and uh, or X as they call it and uh, Facebook and TikTok I have not had peace for the last and, but I, what I want to tell you I'm listening, I'm reading today it was an opportunity to listen to Kenyans I know the reservations, what they support what they don't support and I'm happy media you have been the greatest partners in this journey uh, two things that I want to mention I, I have seen largely members of the public are in support of most of the provisions Specifically on the issue of uh, more allocation to counties uh, from 15% to 40%, they agree with it. But their only concern is on the accountability aspect. Therefore, it is the ESCC and DC and DPP to fast track cases of corruption and misappropriation of funds, especially financial misappropriation in counties. Number two, which is of importance, is the bicameralism of both the Senate and the National Assembly. Kenyans don't have a problem in terms of division of revenue because it's just a constitutional process. Number four is on the issue of deployment of Kenya Defense Forces. Many public are in agreement that we need to involve both the Senate and the National Assembly to devolve KDF, especially when there's internal or external threats uh, that is happening. On the issue of the office of the Prime Minister, Kenyans are 50-50 on this. Uh, you know the nature of our democracy in this country is uh, we have 42 tribes and sometimes many Kenyans feel left out in terms of power sharing arrangement because you, at the moment you only have the president, the deputy president, the speakers of houses, both the Senate and the National Assembly, but there are no other senior seats within the country that shows there is a representation. So I thought by in, in, uh, creating a new clause 150, uh, 50, 50, uh, clause 1, uh, close, sorry, just a quick one. Let me at a, a close introduction of a new clause under one article 151a that there shall be office of the prime minister who shall be appointed by the president from the party with the majority or coalition of parties as a prime minister who technically shall be the head of government businesses, a uh, government business, which means the uh, uh, majority leader of the national assembly will no longer hold that position. The thinking of this is two. One is to ensure representative leadership at the national level, and number two is to ensure that uh, there is that linkage between the executive and the, and, the, and the parliament. And number three also, we have seen the, the issue of uh, challenge of non-appointment, even on this issue of deputy president and the president. We thought it is important for the president to have that power. Uh, to appoint. Uh, that is why I'm proposing the creation of the office of the Prime Minister. In fact, in this bill, uh, and I think it is captured, is also we are creating the office of the official opposition leader so that we have a structured oversight within Parliament. At the moment, you are having only majority leader and minority leader who cannot have the ability of oversighting the government of the day. So we want that office of official opposition leader to have necessary resources, office, uh, cars, capacity, so that they can oversight the government of the day, and I thought that would be very, very important. On the issue of a uh, term limit, which Kenyans um, have, have proposed, uh, have opposed, uh, uh, it is important that I have had Kenyans, others are proposing three years, two years, four years, five years, seven years, I'm proposing uh, seven years, and many people forget and fail that this thing I'm mentioning was in NADCO report. I think people don't read the reports. In the NADCO report, they have proposed a similar uh, uh, extension of term limit. My reasoning is very simple. You know, 
Kenya, we have perpetual political mood. Even as we talk today, it is two years into uh, elections. But the campaign mood and the uh, politics that is happening across the country, you can imagine we're having elections next week. So one is to create time for delivery. Number two is to stop this aspect of campaign electioneering period for the five circle years. I can tell you for the, the remainder of this year you will see politics, next year you will see politics, that will be the third and you only have five years and it will be hard. I know in American system many people don't know. It is two years for midterm of uh, congressmen and women, uh, four years for the president and six years for the senators. What I did in the NATCO report, they had proposed six years for senators, but I'm proposing average of both MCS, governors, uh, women rep, the president, and, the, and, and senators to have that opportunity of service. That is the thinking. And also many Kenyans forget, and I, and I don't know, that elections are very expensive. If you can see the pending bills of IEBC, it is still more than four billion as we talk today. Carrying an election in Kenya, cost almost 100 billion to do an election. That 100 billion, if you are doing it after every five years, that 100 billion would have used to improve share, to improve bursary, to improve roads, to improve infrastructure in the country, to provide better health care. But we are, we are using almost 100 billion, in 100 billion Kenyan shillings. And you have to remember that elections of Kenya is always the expensive in the region. In fact, it's one of the expensive. In fact, media, you can do the research and share with the public. So another aspect is the cost of the running of elections of this country. And then another aspect is the, that, the, the, how people go to the land to be elected uh, to the office. And, and, and therefore, I agree. I know Kenyans are not comfortable with the term limit. I'll wait for the committee report. This thing will go to debate. Parliament will debate. It might go to referendum. So Kenyans will still have their say when it comes to, to this issue. But by next week, I should give the country way forward on, on after looking at the feedback. You know, we are yet to look at the, you know, the people we had today was physical. We are not aware of over 250,000 emails, what they mean. So I will need to go through those emails and the response of the committee. Then before the close of next week, uh, colleagues and members of the fourth estate I will be able to give way forward to the country on the issue of time limit. But Kenyans, I'm listening we, as, as, a, as a sponsor of the bill, and I want to insist this. This is a private member's bill. Under the standing orders of the Senate, and the, under the standing orders, we have what we call private member's bill. This bill is not sponsored by anybody. It is sponsored as a private member's bill, as the Senator of Nandu, as Senator Cherarke. No one else is sponsoring this bill. And under the standing orders, any member can sponsor a bill. And there are many bills I have sponsored. I don't know why people have a problem uh, with, with this bill, which I understand. But I have sponsored so many bills, and it has not brought a problem. So I want to assure the country this bill is sponsored by yours truly, uh, Senator Gerard Gay. No one has an input except myself and before the Senate. Even senators themselves will contribute on the debate of, the, of, of that point. Finally, because I wanted to make highlights only, so that colleagues you can have time, is on the issue of vetting. I'm proposing that the Senate vets and approves mm -hmm. uh, Attorney General, Cabinet Secretary, Secretary to the Cabinet, Principal Secretaries, Director of Public Prosecution, Chair and Members of Constitutional Commissions, Chief Justice, Deputy Chief Justice, Auditor General, Inspector General of the National Police, Controller of Budgets and nominees to Commission of Revenue Allocation under Article 215 and members of Public Service Commission. That will mean Senate will vet and approve. But National Assembly will be left with only one job. Is the Senate, uh, the, the National Assembly will vet and approve high commissioners, ambassadors, diplomatic and consular representatives of Kenya across the country. Apart, of course, from the oversight that we shall do as a, as a, as a, as a, as a nation. Um, of course, the approval I have discussed, so in an upshot, and therefore Kenyans have seen many people are saying, why should Cherarga, and this will be in closing, should not sponsor bills that assist. Uh, one co small comment I almost forget is that we need, as a country, we need to do what we call constitutional audit. I think it has reached a time that we must now start doing constitutional audit. After 
uh, from 2012 up to now, from 2010 up to now, we need to audit. Why, where does it work in our constitution? What do we need to improve? Constitution is not static. It is a dynamic document. Anybody can amend the constitution. Not only Chararge, even Kenyans can amend this constitution. This constitution is not like a Bible or a Quran that it cannot be touched. It must be amended. And that is why as a country it has reached a point that we must audit our constitution. What works? We work with it. What doesn't work? We remove. And I think that is what many people have argued that having more counties is, is expensive for the country. Others are arguing it takes, democracy is expensive. Others are saying we should have sunset clauses for women representatives or have sunset clauses. Uh, in fact, some people are proposing that governor should not be elected. It should be appointed position because of the nature of running that, that, uh, that issues. And finally, I have seen many Kenyans are arguing because I'm just running through colleagues so that I don't know be labor. Many people are arguing that uh, why does Senator Gerard Gay don't sponsor other bills? I have sponsored so many bills. Like Office of the County Attorney Bill, it is now the law I sponsored. Motion on the status of athletics and welfare of athletics in the country, I have sponsored. Petition to the Senate on the prioritization of clinical officers and other health care work workers, welfare by the government to be observed by pu Public Service Commission, I have petitioned. I have petitioned mm -hmm. Ministry of mm -hmm. Health on unfair terms and conditions for confirmation of universal health coverage staff and delay in internship posting, I have sponsored. Petition to the concerning uh, non payment of support staff in contract with Nandi County Government, I have sponsored. The Employment Amendment Bill, where I was seeking right to disconnect so that uh, colleagues, you know, you, you only work on call. You don't need to be disturbed by your, by your employer after office work, I sponsor that. The Impeachment Procedure Bill, although it has not come, I am sponsoring that. Uh, the Prevention of Livestock and Produce Theft Bill, which is stuck in the National Assembly. It was intended to prevent the issue of cattle rustling and bandit. I am the one who sponsored. The County Government's Amendment Bill, I have sponsored. The Public Service Values and Principles Amendment Bill, I am co-sponsoring. The Cancer Prevention and Control Amendment Bill number, four, number 45 of 2022 National, I am co-sponsoring. The Prevention of Cancer. Because cancer is very expensive to treat, I'm the one sponsoring. In fact, we want to use telemedicine in the treatment of cancer so that you don't need to travel to India or other countries to receive treatment. Of course, the, the, the Constitution of Amendment Bill. And then there were also the statement, many people are saying, what is Gerard Gay doing? In fact, I, I, colleagues and you watched yesterday, I did a sponsor a status of the closure of Mo University, which is closed up to today. I'm the one who raising that issue that University of Mo University should be reopened. The issue of tea bonuses, you remember in Rift Valley we are having less tea, but when you come to other regions they are having. Number two, um, there was the issue of impact of the drought in the country. I'm the one who brought that issue on the statement. The issue of uh, failure by education loan board to disperse funds to students in the universities and even the new funding model in time. I am the one who sponsored on the statement on remuneration of village elders, Nyumbakumi officials, or Mukasa. I am the one who brought that issue. The issue of statement of, I am just running through colleagues of, of just specific so that Kenyans understand we are doing something apart from what they are seeing we are doing at the moment. Statement on the operations and financial status of Kenya Airways. I am the one who brought that one. The issue of private employment agency. You saw colleagues here in KICC. There are many young people who are lining up who want to travel abroad. But most of the agencies are conning our young people. I'm the one who has been focal against conning of young people who want to travel abroad to root for greener pastures. Then there was the issue of uh, 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 the issue of I am the one who petitioned. I remember you guys covered me when I was requesting that the government to confirm the junior secondary school teachers who are for six thousand to permanent and pensionable because they were contract. In fact, I'm happy that TSE did advertise and they must confirm for 6,000 GSS and also add 20,000 new intern teachers to assist learners in grade 9. I'm the one who spoke.